we need to go from this uneventful data set and conditionally format the row with weekend and holiday dates. Now, when you try to add conditional formatting to an entire row, the problem is in conditional formatting, there's no built-in way to add formatting to the entire row based on a condition. No problem. Instead of using one of the built-in options, we'll use new rule. That has a dialog box where we can build a logical true-false formula. But instead of building it in the dialog box, which is clunky and difficult to do, we'll build our formula in the cell, copy it over and down. And only when we see the pattern of trues for a weekend or falses for a workday will we then copy the correct formula and paste it into the dialog box. Now, the function we're going to use is networkdays.international. Now, normally we put a start and end date that span a big range. But the trick for conditional formatting is we're going to put, hey, that's the start date, comma, and we'll put the exact same day for end date. That way here, we get a count of 0, but down here, we'll get a count of 1. Now, these cell references need to be locked on the B column as we copy it across the columns. So we hit the F4 key one, two, three times. And we have to do it for both. Anytime you use conditional formatting to highlight a row, the column is locked and the row is not locked, comma, and weekend. We have Sunday and Monday, so we look through the list. And sure enough, there it is, 2. Now, we could leave it hard coded in, but instead I'm going to refer to it with a cell reference. So if it changes like Sunday and Saturday as the weekend, we can simply change this input. And it will change our formulas and the conditional formatting. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it in all directions, comma. And if you have holidays, you put them off to the side, F4. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Well, that's correct. That's a 0. Copy it to the side. Copy it down. And there's our beautiful pattern of zeros, which means no formatting, and ones, which mean format. Uh-oh. Wait a second. I need the reverse. Friday needs a 0, and Sunday needs a 1. So in the top cell, I hit F2. We can convert falses or zeros to trues or ones or trues to false by using the not function. Close parentheses, Control Enter, Control C, Control Shift right arrow, Control Shift down arrow, Control V. And that is beautiful. There's our pattern of trues and falses. Now very carefully, in the upper left corner, you hit F2. And we're copying the formula from the upper left corner, Control C, Escape. And very carefully, we're going to start with the selected cell in the upper left corner. Control Shift right arrow, down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. If that active cell is in a different position, this will not work. Now we go up to conditional formatting, new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Format values where this formula is true, Control V. And we can add whatever formatting we want from any of the tabs. I'm going to add yellow fill. Click OK. Click OK. That is beautiful. There's the holiday. There's our Sundays and even some Mondays. Now, if instead of it being Sunday and Monday, it's Saturday and Sunday, I can type a 1 here. And just like that, it updates. Control Z. Now, here's your bonus tip. Number one, what if instead of Monday, this is Sunday and Wednesday? Well, no problem. I'm going to go figure out what the number is. And I'm looking for Sunday and Wednesday. Uh-oh, it's just not there. Well, let's learn an awesome trick here. This is a screen tip for networkdays.international. And if you hover your cursor and see that blue link, when you click it, it opens up help. And since it's help for a function, it's probably pretty good. And if we scroll down, weekend string values. One represents non-working day. Zero represents a work day. Down here in this example, Monday through Friday are work days, Saturday and Sunday represented by ones are the holidays. 
Now I'm going to close this. And since it's a formula input, I need to put that up here. The problem is if I start typing ones and zeros, it'll end up as a number. And I need it as text. So we enter it with a lead apostrophe. All right. Monday, Tuesday, those are work days. Wednesday is a weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now when I control enter, I can see the trues and falses and the conditional formatting. Instantly update. There's our Wednesdays, there's our holiday, there's our Sunday. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out an epic video with 40 examples of conditional formatting, check out these videos.